<laughs> you know I had to double it. <laughs> what up, gents? Welcome to TSG Uncut. I'm your host, Sean C. Today, we're going to review a video of a black man who learns the hard way how the woman that he was with completely ruined his life. That he is completely broke now. And he's also a completely broken man. Before we get to that clip, I'm gonna show you another clip that is similar to the opening clip, showing how these women have little regard for the men that they're with. That they are very toxic and broken women. And if you're not careful, they will ruin your life. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Also check down in the description for the different links that I have that will help you out in 2023. With that being said, let's get started. There are simply not enough men having their lives ruined for me. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just where I'm at spiritually, but I'm personally sick and tired of seeing bad bitches just walk away peacefully after a man moves foul as hell on you. Like bitch, if you don't fuck some shit up on the way out, and I'm talking about the shit men okay like the men who obviously hate women and are just waiting to ruin the next girl after you yeah ruin that mother life and if you ain't got it in you to do that at least greatly inconvenience that mother well lick a jolly rancher and stick it on his windshield babe cover his car in baloney on a hot summer day put a little bit of nair in his shampoo hell his mama i don't know do something you can protect your peace tomorrow babe Ruin his life today. Now, it's real easy to see a cute girl, she look good, she fine, and want to holler at her, especially if she giving you some type of attention. Women like the one you just saw will have a lot of toxicity, have a lot of drama in their life, and all they know is vengeance. They are willing to get back at men for all the hurt that every other man has caused them. This woman here tries to smooth it over by saying that bad men need to be dealt with, that ruin a bad dude's life. Now listen, I can understand the hurt and the pain that some of you women go through because us guys go through it too. But we talk about these topics because we have to start making better choices. When I look at this woman, this looks like a woman who is nothing but a bad choice. This is the type of woman that you should be avoiding. If you are a man on your purpose and at least trying to gain and build yourself into the man you need to be, the type of woman that you just saw in the previous clip is not the type of woman that you wanna have in your life. There are women out there that are back crazy and they will take you down with them. So we have to be careful of who we allow in our life. See, right now it's all fun and game, but like we're about to see in the next clip, if you're not careful with the women and the people that you bring in your life, it can bring you to complete financial ruin. Financially, bro, she broke me, man. She broke me, bro. I'm telling you, like, I'm I'm literally starting all over, guys. And this is things no man is going to hop online and say, yo, I'm broke. No man is going to hop online and say, I got to start over from zero. Here's why we broke up. I can't take care of people, man. I can't take care of you. And that's why I'm on this 35 and under. No, don't even come at me, man. If, if you're in your 20s, I'm just going to have fun. It's just... It's just going to be a lot of booty clapping sounds, and that's it. I'm not taking any woman serious in her 20s ever again. <clears throat> I need a woman that can make my life, that can add value, man. When a woman has her shit together, they are the best at development, at helping to develop a man. Not build a man, but develop. The right woman by a man's side, that man can move mountains. When you have the right woman by your side, she adds to you. Oh my God, and I didn't have the right one. All she did was take, man. How many times did I bail her out from her car getting repossessed? And I had to fork the bill. And she ain't paid me nothing back yet, man. I walk outside, her car gone. At the time, we still lived together. So, you know, we were still um, calling each other mm -mm -mm names. So I go outside, her car gone. I'm like, yo, your car gone again. And she start crying, freaking out. This girl was back due $2,100 on her car note, guys. And she's crying. I'm telling you. So I helped her with $800 of it. Her aunt had to pay the other 13 And then I helped her. I went with her to go get the car, her car back. And that happened multiple times. This woman 
quit her job without any backup plan and put the financial load on me. She didn't have a job for like two or three months, man. And that was stressful on me. All of the bills were on me. All, all of my bills and her bills. Like, how many times can I bail you out? How many times can I go broke trying to save you? And that's the thing. I'm drowning while trying to keep you afloat. Now, first off, let me say that I can relate to this guy. I have been in situations with the major relationships in my life that led me to being financially ruined, where I had to each time pick myself up, build myself back up from each of those situations. I have been homeless three times in my life. Once when I left my mom's house and the other two times were after major relationships. Even while in the military, I had technically no home of my own to go to. But this guy specifically talks about him dating a younger woman, but he brings up a good point. He talks about meeting the right woman. I hear guys in the comments all the time talking about not wanting to deal with older women, how older women are broken, how older women can't be saved, how they've given all their youth and their vitality to people, but we worry that they won't be able to give that back to us. As you heal yourself, as you continue to work on yourself, then you won't deal with the same type of women anymore. Find a woman who has her stuff together. She can still bring nourishment to your situation just as you can to her. Everyone is jaded. Everyone is hurt. Everyone is trying to get past the pain. But after you get to a certain point in your life, a certain age in your life, you just don't want to deal with it no more. You don't want to deal with people's BS. And that is a part of making better decisions with who's in your life. This man still has to be careful because he's talking about messing with younger women just to have a good and fun time. The women that were in the, the beginning clips, you know, some of you guys might smash and dash, but as you can hear from the way they talk, they will still ruin your life. You have to know who you are and you have to know where you're going. If she isn't willing to be on your purpose, if she isn't willing to be on your program, then you need to let let her go and not just her some of you guys are rolling with people in your life that don't mean you any good that partner who's still doing the same damn thing and brings nothing to you some of you all need to let those people go because the company that we keep dictate our success in life let me know what you think about this man's situation down in the comments and i'll join you down there in a moment until next time live your best life